Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in this video we are going to practically demonstrate how to treat the impaired joint play for the acromioclavicular joint in the anterior to posterior direction. Now for this the therapist can opt for slow stretch mobilization technique or thrust or manipulation technique. So to deliver these techniques, the therapist first makes the patient lie down in supine lying position and the therapist is going to stand towards the side that needs to be treated, facing in the cephalad direction. Now the two contact points of the therapist are going to be to mobilize the right sided acromioclavicular joint, the left hand is going to stabilize at the olecaron process and is going to take the shoulder into abducted position whereas the right hand pisiform contact is going to be used which is going to be placed directly over the anterior lateral end of the clavicle bone. Now while maintaining these two contact points the therapist next bends the trunk forward and leans away from the patient so that the right shoulder comes directly above the acromioclavicular joint. Now from this position the therapist can deliver the stretch pressure mobilization technique that is the pressure is applied over the lateral distant end of the clavicle in the anterior to posterior direction always trying to go more and more into the end range of restriction and mobilizing the joint. Now while maintaining the same contact and same mobilization pressure and taking the joint into the end range of joint play if a high velocity low amplitude thrust is applied to the joint from this particular position this becomes the manipulation technique which is not advisable actually to be learned through educational videos. So this was one of the way in which the anterior to posterior joint play for the acromioclavicular joint can be restored using the mobilization or manipulation technique. See you all in our next video till then keep learning keep sharing and stay connected.